Dr. Mason. Dr. Mason. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I guess it was nothing. A sudden light reflection. It startled me. There's no doubt a comet or a meteor. No. It seemed to be a, a drill-shaped thing. Revolving. I know. It, it must have been my imagination. But it makes me realize how desperately alone the Earth is. Hanging in space like a speck of food floating in the ocean. Sooner or later to be swallowed up by some creature floating by. Oh, come now. Time will tell, Dr. Mason. We can only wait and wonder. Wonder how. Wonder when. Preliminary findings. Thor reporting. 42 saturation degrees and 96 volumes. Intermediate fluctuation in Marfan content. Derek reporting. Tridex mixer components ratio exceeding 7 to 1.4. Moore reporting. Diagonal adjustment reading resisting structural forms by 2.8.0 vernums. Saw reporting. Uneven cartoid levels intersect planes below 0.03.
surface readings register above minimum requirements. Morrow, go below and bring up the young Gargan specimen. Now the decision depends on its reactions. Wait, Captain. I have found evidence of intelligent beings on this planet. Of what concern are foreign beings? Of none to you, Thor. Just as you were so unconcerned when you destroyed this small creature. So bravely. It was no more than an insect. But it had life. And that life you had to take to satisfy your endless hunger for killing. Silence, both of you. Proceed, bring the Gargan. That will not be necessary, Captain. Conditions here will be reported as unsatisfactory as they were on the other planets we have charted. By what authority? You will prepare for takeoff. The ship will leave this planet immediately. According to our code of operations... You may forget the code of operations, Captain. Only civilized beings could have made the inscription on this metal piece. We shall not have the thousands of Gargans brought here to destroy them. You have concern for foreign beings over our mission to locate grazing land for our Gargan herds? Recall, it is necessary as a reserve food supply for our people. Our people? We live like parts of a machine. We don't know our fathers or mothers were raised in cubicles. The sick and the old are put to death. It is the one and only way to maintain the supreme race. Have you forgotten it? Our people have forgotten. They have been made to forget for centuries. But I have learned how it once was. Families, brothers and sisters. There was happiness. There was love. Of what do you speak? From where have you learned such things? I have read. I have read from this book. I discovered it and kept it hidden. Somehow it survived the flames of the Annihilators when our people were turned into mechanized slaves centuries ago. When we return to our planet, the High Court may well sentence you to torture and death for this treason. The High Court may judge me after we have accomplished our mission. We will find an uninhabited planet to which the herds of Gargans may be shipped without endangering civilized beings. Let me see that book. I am interested to see what sways your mind so heavily. You may have it. <coughs> Bring up the Gargan. You were a fool, Derek. This book has poisoned your mind and you shall suffer for it. Captain, if the Gargans are shipped here, the inhabitants may destroy them. That possibility alone makes it worthwhile to locate an uninhabited planet. That book has indeed made you forget many things. We are the supreme race. We have the supreme weapons. Keep him under guard, Thor. I will study the reactions of the young Gargan. Or the High Court has you executed. You should be made to watch what happens when we return here with the Gargans. By the elements alone, they will grow to millions of times their original size in less time than it takes for the sun to rise and fall. It thrives, Captain. Already I can feel it has grown heavier. We shall return to our base and lead the transport ships here. Soon, this planet will be covered with full-grown Gargans. A safe distance from our planet, yet their meat will be available to us for the harvesting. Repack the instruments. I shall radio back the news of our success. Captain! Captain, something has gone wrong. Look here. What? What has happened? I do not know. It suddenly fell limp, and now does not move. Assemble the t hook in the gas grating instruments. Be quick! <laughs> 